but um, for this one I am using a size 7. My factory warranty is expiring on my car. Good to know. Welcome to episode 38 of the Knit Now Swatch Later podcast. This is a knitting podcast where I talk about my knitting, crocheting, and whatever other crafty ventures I have been exploring in the last couple of weeks. My name is Courtney, and I'm coming to you from Pennsylvania where I live with my husband and our two dogs and two cats. You can find me on Instagram as Knit Now Swatch Later and on Ravelry as Pup. We also have a Ravelry group for this podcast, which is in the links down below, along with links to my Ravelry project pages and any shops that I talk about during the episode. So I do have one finished object and a handful of acquisitions to talk about today. So let's jump right in. The finished object I don't have with me, but I will try to put a picture in here so that you guys can see it. Um, it was finished up last week and it's already been gifted to the recipient, but I enjoyed that pattern so much that I started a new one. So I have in my Alice in Wonderland book bag my second granny block blanket. Now I did make some changes between this one and the last one. I am using a bigger hook than I did last time because it turned out a little bit smaller than I was supposed to, but it was for a baby so I was like, whatever. Anyway, this is a 7mm crochet hook and I am using a Lion Brand Mandala Cake in the colorway Wood Nymph. So, this is my progress so far and it just it whips up so quickly I think I started this like on Sunday maybe maybe it was even on Monday I think it was on Monday yeah and I've already got this much progress so it whips up really fast I'm really enjoying it it's pretty mindless once you get going so I would definitely recommend this pattern and then I just wanted to show you guys that this is one of my project bags and I have both cakes obviously this one is a little collapsed but both of the mandala cakes fit in here and my blanket just to give you guys a better um, gauge for the size it is a pretty good size project bag and it all fits no problem I could still probably get a few things in there if I really wanted to so Alright, next up I have, I wanted to talk about my winter hike socks, which I ended up frogging because I did not want to work on them, um, so I cast on a different sock, which is in another one of my bags. These are not in the shop yet, but this is a sock pouch that I am working on, so hopefully these will be in the shop soon. I'm really excited about them. But I cast on another sock and I made this much progress in like three days. And I had been working on the winter hike sock for over a month and it just, it wasn't happening. So I frogged the whole thing and I started focusing on this sock. This is the Rhinebeck Roomies pattern by Kay Litton of Crazy Sock Lady Designs. And this pair is for my husband. These are in his, um, the leftover from the Three Irish Girls Springdale sock that I used for another pair of socks for him before. Um, and the colorway is Witch's Brew. And I just love how the pattern is working up. He prefers shorter socks, so I try to do that for him. I think I did five of the pattern repeat for the leg. And then I did a um, slip stitch heel flapping gusset in the contrasting colorway that he chose, which is just a random gray from my basket of minis that I have in my craft room. So I just finished the gusset decreases last night. 
So it should be pretty straightforward knitting until I get to the toe. So I have really been enjoying those, um, obviously, since I am further on these than I was on the winter hike socks in a fraction of the time. So I also have my vanilla socks in this bag. Normally I only work on these in the car. And I have made some really good progress. Apparently, I either knit really fast in the car or we have spent a lot of time in the car in the last two weeks. So this little coffee progress keeper is marking where I was the last episode of the podcast. I made quite a bit of progress. So I'm thinking it's just so nice to grab this when we are heading out the door. I'm moving up my progress keeper so I don't forget. And then to just have some mindless knitting to be able to do whatever while we're driving and have a conversation. Um, I also pick it up every once in a while when we're just sitting around chatting because it's so easy to not have to pay attention to it. And then I think I'm definitely going to just be knitting the long tube. It's not as boring as I thought it would be, so... That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to cut into the tube, I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to add in um, toes and afterthought heels. And then my last work in progress that I have is my Mama in this pig bag. And I have not made a ton of progress on this. Here's my progress keeper. From the last episode and I think I've done like six rows but I have been oof, I have been working on this I've been trying to work on it every day for at least 30 minutes as part of my 30 minutes of knitting and it takes me 30 minutes it takes me more than 30 minutes to knit two rows so that is why it is taking forever but I'm hoping that if I start getting back into the habit of the 30 minutes of knitting every morning that we will see some nice progress there. I went to my local yarn store for my birthday which was last week on Wednesday. Um, I spent my Christmas gift card that I got from my parents and um, I, got, I got a few things while I was there. So first up, this is Opal Yarn in the colorway, color number 990, and I just love the pattern of these. I have never knit with Opal sock yarn before, but this is what it looks like if you can see that. Um, this is the yarn that knits up into like a pattern, and I've just always thought that that was super cool, and I've never been able to get any, but... Apparently my local yarn store has some so I grabbed some while I was there and then I also got my 2021 sock knit along tag um, Every year they have Amy hosts um, An annual sock knit along which I have linked the Facebook group in my show notes below if you guys are interested in joining just make sure that you um, follow the rules and answer the questions before joining the group and you should be good. So I put that again in the links below in case you guys are interested and wanted to participate in that with me and the other people that shop at my local yarn store. So this is the yarn that I'm planning on using. We cast on May 1st and I don't know that there's a, a hard deadline for that but I'm hoping to finish them by June 1st, which is my goal. Um, yeah, that's I think that's everything I have to say about that one. This one, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have already seen. This is by Hope Knit Yarn, I think is how you say that. <laughs> and the colorway, the colorway is hilarious. It is called Holy Crap on a Cracker. <laughs> When I saw this, I picked it up because it was pretty, right? And uh, my mom actually 
pointed it out. She was with me and she said, oh, that one's, that one's really pretty. I was like, yeah, it is. And I picked it up and the colorway was holy crap on a cracker. And I was like, sold. Like, I have to buy this now. So <laughs> anyway, this is um, on their Jimmy Sock fingering weight base. And it is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So yeah, I don't know what I am going to knit with these. Honestly, probably socks because why not? But yeah, so that was a really fun purchase. And then I have this colorway, which is super pretty. I don't know if you guys can see. There is a gold sparkle in there, which is amazing. This is more of a Christmas color. The colorway is Peppermint Mocha and is by Sweet Sparrow Yarns on their Magpie base. And so I will probably save the, this yarn for a Christmas sock cast on. So I am looking forward to that. I was really good with these. Um, and I've actually already put them, I've already added them to my Stash on Ravelry. That's really awesome for me. I have been, I uploaded all of my stash to Ravelry, I don't know, over the winter. I had my husband help me add everything in, and I have done a really good job of keeping it updated as yarn comes in or goes out of my stash, so I am really proud of myself for that. I don't have pictures of my yarn because that just seemed like a lot of work to me, but eventually I am planning on going to like the um, yarn company's websites and just downloading pictures of the colorways that I have and uploading them that way so that I can have the colorways there, but I don't have to take the pictures myself. But it is still going to be a time consuming process. I have 175 skeins of yarn in my stash, so that's a lot of pictures to find and download and upload into Ravelry, so that will probably take me a while to get to. And then the last acquisition that I have was actually from a giveaway that I entered a while ago. Um, one of my friends was hosting, her name is Read Play Crochet. And her name was Gretchen, so I won this in a giveaway. And then the maker is Books in a Sweater. And I will link to her in the show notes below as well. So I was really excited about this. And I'm using it. So you're supposed to use it to carry around your books so that they don't get damaged in your books purse or your backpack or wherever you stash your books while you're traveling around with them because any reader, any big reader definitely travels with their books. So, <laughs> but I actually use mine to keep, it holds my Bible and my notebook that I take with me to our uh, weekly study group and that way when it's time to go here's inside. When it's time to go, I just have to grab my book and a sweater and I'm good to go instead of having to grab everything separately and then find a pen. I also have my pen right here. So I am really enjoying this. It is great quality and I just, I love the print so much. So if you're interested, go check out her shop, which will be in the show notes below. I also have a new book to talk to you guys about. I finished Stalemate by Iris Johansson. I I really enjoyed it. Um, it just took me a while to finish it because I didn't, I haven't had a lot of time to myself lately, it seems like. So that one took me a little bit longer to finish than I would have liked, but it was really good. And then I started reading A Darker Shade of Magic, which I actually, I actually brought my book to show you guys for the first time in a long time. So I'm just, I'm really proud of myself today. I'm really bringing it for this episode of the podcast. <laughs> it is a Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And it's really good. I 
did not have my hopes set very high because this is a recommendation from Gabby of the Plies and Hellhounds podcast, which if you guys have been following for a while, I have been reading a bunch of the books that she recommends on her podcast and I'm just, I'm not interested in like romance novels. Um, I like like fairy tales and uh, fantasy books, but when it leans more romance, it kind of, it loses my interest pretty quickly. And that seems to be mostly what, what Gabby recommends, which is totally fine. You know, if that's what she enjoys, good for her. But that's not my thing. So I do not have my hopes very high for this book, but I am really enjoying it. I have found myself kind of trying to work in a few more minutes every day to read a little bit. I started it. I don't know, a few days ago, and I'm already 113 pages in, which is really good. Um, not my, not my best, but I'm doing what I can with the time that I have right now. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that. And as far as chat goes, we finally got our air conditioning installed. They um, started it in October of last year because our furnace went out, so it was cheaper for us. Our furnace went out and we didn't originally have air conditioning, but it made more sense for us to have the furnace replaced and air conditioning installed at the same time. So now we have air conditioning and my husband is loving it. I am freezing because I just run super cold, so... Yeah, he's really enjoying it. I'm I'm not hating it, but I am snuggled up. I'm one of those people in like sweatpants and a heated blanket <laughs> sitting in the air conditioning so that he can be comfortable. <laughs> but um so that's pretty much all that's new and exciting going on. Here I do have a couple of things to show for the shop, which is it's not much. I just have a couple of Notions pouches here in two prints. I have the Fox print that I showed you guys in the bigger bags on the last episode. And the inside is these really pretty, like, blue flowers. And then the other bags that I have are this really pretty floral print. And on the inside, this blue gingham print. So, and they all have, they always have my little rose charm that you can use. You can use as a progress keeper. So yeah, and then I have a big pile of bags that as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to head over and work on finishing those up. I just need to press them and sew up the side seams and the lining and then those should be good to go. So hopefully those will be in the shop by Friday which is when this podcast comes out. So if you're interested go check the shop and they should be there. Um, and as always you can use the code knitnowswatchlater for 15% off of your total purchase. And I think think that's everything for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I share a new podcast every two weeks, so until next time, happy knitting. Bye!